Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next training topic which is on improvement of performance in ACT underscore UPG. So this phase actually takes few days to complete. So basically it is very important to find out ways to optimize the performance of the phase ACT underscore UPG. So let's see how to improve the performance in ACT underscore UPG phase. During an upgrade or an EHP installation or support package installation using software update manager some tool there is a phase called act underscore upg where abap dictionary objects are activated and spdd adjustments are done this phase takes a very long time even a few days before proceeding with the phase act underscore upg make the following changes before proceeding things to not do during this particular phase is first thing to note in this regard is to not ignore non-severe errors. This may result in the errors in later phases of the upgrade. It is always best to consult SAP and get a word of confirmation regarding this. Since non-severe errors might sometimes result in inconsistencies, it is best to rectify them in this phase and proceed. Unless otherwise specified by SAP, customers also report missing data after the upgrade is complete. However, one of the most likely causes is that customers ignore errors in this phase. Conversion takes place eventually which modify a table structure which in turn leads to data loss. Things to do before this phase. First thing is make sure that we upgrade the kernel to the latest available patch. It is always recommended and considered as a best practice by SAP to update the kernel to the latest patch level before proceeding further with the upgrade. In this way, several bug fixes are delivered by the latest kernel patch. Errors such as unresolved request in buffer and most commonly resolved by updating the PP and RT class to the latest level. Okay, next thing is the allocate memory. It is also observed that a sufficient amount of memory in the application servers increase the overall performance of the upgrade. This is an obvious fact and can be easily followed. This also implies and stresses upon the fact that upgrade directory, the trans directory can be kept in the local disk so that access to these directories is faster because it's massive read write operation takes place during this particular phase. Okay, so if the upgrade directory is placed on a remote disk, you will see the performance degradation. So just make sure that you have the upgrade directory and the trans directory locally. Then check network status. Sometimes however despite a local upgrade directory the network layer is used and thus the configuration of the network is important. A common case that highlights this is as follows. A production system is a HA system while a test system is not. Hence the production system will use virtual host name that have to NIP PING that is nipping back to the same system. Here the network setup is different to that of non-production system. Hence the location of these directories would be decisive factor in defining the performance of the phase. Check memory parameter. The hardware is to be looked into. In this regard as the speed of the hardware proportionates directly to the speed of the upgrade. Hence the values for ABAP slash heap area, dialog area, non-dialog area, heap area total, then so these memory related parameters because these are the parameters which are for memory we should tune these parameters. If the database is on the host where the upgrade tool are to trans run or on a different host might influence the speed but even a local database access uses the network layer and hence the network configuration of the database is also an issue. Here you can find some notes that provide more details about the commonly encountered errors in and include performance tweaks to fix them. So basically here you can see that these notes are present. These notes, they are SAP notes and you should go through them to fix the errors in case if they occur, to fix the issues which may you may encounter during this phase. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.